grab your cup. This morning I wanna talk about, I think something that's really important that would shift things for people. And that is that you can be at a place where it doesn't matter what someone else is doing or not doing. It doesn't matter what they're saying. I'm not, I don't mean that we, we don't have things we get upset about. We don't have things that we say are not okay. But for you to experience peace does not depend on what someone else does. That's, that's what I'm talking about. For you to experience peace and a sense of wholeness in your life is not dependent upon what other people do or don't do, is not dependent on you know, how things turn out. That kind of transformation only comes from within yourself. So here, here's an example. I actually have two examples. I have two clients, um, I have several clients, two clients that I'm gonna use as an example right now. One of them is married, but the marriage could be better. They still have pretty young kids. She kind of feels like certainly she's not gonna make any changes while these kids are growing. So she's, um, not really looking or considering the the idea of the marriage not staying together but she doesn't feel oftentimes supported or connected there's not a deep commotion, emotional connection it's sort of like going through the motions like they live as roommates and then the other client that i wanted to reference because this applies to everybody but these two examples i think make it clear the other client is going through a divorce i have several people right now who are either in the middle of divorce, considering it, just got a divorce. So I think that that's a time when people are really looking at what, what is it for me? What's going on with me? But so for these two clients, the one who is in her marriage is consistently upset with what her husband does or doesn't do and how he responds to her. Now, if you're choosing to stay in a marriage and then still being upset with how they are, the only place to look is within yourself because you know how they are and yet you're staying. So you can either stay and continue to be upset or you can stay knowing how they are and shift within you. Now, he's not abusive to her. It's not toxic at all. So, um, none of that is there to contend with. It's just not fulfilling her and he doesn't seem to be able to step up at a deeper level of connection, emotional connection. So if you decide, well, I'm gonna stay for the kids and because this makes sense right now, then the only way to create peace within yourself is to look within yourself and everything that you have a need to support yourself truly to support yourself is within and above. When you connect to your source and to yourself, you don't need anything from anybody else. It's wonderful to have things from someone else. It's wonderful to connect at a deeper level and to share. But the upset of not feeling that is gone because self and source are where your support comes from or if you learn how to let it come from there, life changes. For my client who is going through a divorce, a lot of fear at her age, right? So that's the other thing is women wait until the kids are grown for very valid reasons, but then are afraid to do what it takes because they won't have, you know, will I have enough money? Will I be okay on my own? Like at least the familiar not great is better but for those deciding to get a divorce especially in the 50s or 60s right that's and men too it's a significant thing to think about so the same thought applies the same concept is when you stop waiting for your peace to come from how somebody else will be you start to learn how to find your peace within yourself. So even if it's a divorce from several years ago, but people are, especially if you have kids and there still needs to be some level of communication around being co-parents, that's gonna be the case for the rest of your life, right? And there's a constant upset. 
the peace only comes when you transform yourself. It's not about the relationship. It's not about what that other person. So, you know, peace within finding self and source. That's where you get your peace. Now, for instance, I'm going to put my coffee down. When we're in a relationship, what happens? You have this going on a lot. Expectations here, expectations here, or expectations over here, defense against those expectations. And this is what happens. When you stop with the expectations and just look internally, one hand goes down. Now there's nothing to bump up against. People bump up against the push of others' expectations and demands and judgments and criticisms. Our option, our only option as human beings, it, our ego says push back, be defensive, defend yourself. It's not our only option, but it's what we do automatically. But when you take a hand away, now there's nothing to push up against, right? Now that person doesn't need to respond with defense. When you stop pushing because you find your peace within, because you go and create the relationship with yourself that is whole, that isn't looking to be filled by other people, and your relationship with your source where you know that what you wanna have going forward is available when you co-create and co-partner with source, with God, with the universe, whatever your word is, self and source, then you can stop pushing against anybody else. And when you stop pushing, they stop pushing. I have a, a different person, a different client actually, who was just telling me this week, um, and it was it's a family relationship with her sister. And normally there is a lot of that going on between them. And she has shifted how she responds to her sister. Her sister sees things in a particular way and will say, it's almost like gaslighting, will say, you said this, or you did this. And she's like, no, I didn't. You know, and will come right back with her things because she's like, no, I didn't say that. No, that's not right. And now they're, they're back into this dynamic again, right? She shifted how she is. She stopped needing her sister to see her point and just responded in a completely different way and the sister stopped pushing back. That, that's true for any relationship. So it's the peace within yourself that's the key. If you don't have that, if that's what's missing for you, then a lot of life feels so much harder. Again, it doesn't mean people are always gonna do what we want. It doesn't mean circumstances happen the way we want. It means we know where to go for the support. We know what's appropriate for us. We know where the boundaries are. We can listen to our internal guidance system and we create the peace from the wholeness and we create what we want through our self, capital S, and our source. That applies to every single person alive. So think about that. That's the work that we do. That's how one big way, I mean, how we get there is multiple tools, but that's one big way that people transform their lives in order to live on purpose, happy, whole, joyful, and feeling peace. If you're ready, I'd, happy, I'd be happy to connect with you. Have a good day.